everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi I'm still alive and in today's video we are heading to Big Lots to check out some of their Halloween decor I am pre-recording this intro and outro so I could potentially end up adding more clips to this video before I end up posting it for you guys so as of right now there's not too much to see there's probably like three quarters of an aisle worth of things but I figured it was enough to put into a video for you guys so just keep that in mind might be a little bit longer than I am anticipating. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the walkthrough. All right, take 10,199. <laughs> I've tried recording the beginning of this voiceover so many times and I keep saying the most ridiculous things. So we're just gonna go with the flow. And if I say something that doesn't make any sense or <laughs> um, I basically, if it just does not sound good, it doesn't sound like a co coherent statement, just ignore. <laughs> I still hope you guys value the video anyways. Okay, so here, I thought this was kind of cool. This is a hand candle and there is a wick for every single finger. You can't really tell, it's really hard to tell in these packages that they have them in. And then they have this snake candle for $6.99. Then a few different candles. I thought they were really cool. Um, I did leave this behind though. And then they have this skull here for $9.99 with the butterflies. Honestly, I don't like the shape of the skull. It reminds me of the motorcycle skulls. And those are probably my least favorite looking skulls. Just that's me personally. And then, of course, because I always have to miss a price, I feel like on something. I think I missed the price on this because I was going to buy this, but then I just didn't like the shape of its face. It's like, its head was really fat <laughs> and I didn't like it. So I ended up leaving it, but I thought it was cool. The idea was cool. Anyways, they have these skull pillar candles and I think these look like those comic book drawings. Does anybody else get that? Because that's what that looked like to me. It's what it reminded me of. And then they have this cauldron candle for $14.99 and it smells like caramel apple and then they have this Halloween pillow I do believe that this is $16.99 don't quote me on that because I'm not positive but I think all of their pillows that I saw were $16.99 and then they have this black leaf garland for $5.99 and then I want to say that these snake candles were $7.99 because, you know, I said I was going to buy one, but then I put it back and I think that I didn't check the price because I was like, oh, I'm going to buy this. I don't need to record how much it is. And then I put it back, not even thinking about it. Anyways, they have a couple of these battery operated um, pillar candles and then they have this candelabra for $12.99. And then they also have a couple of these skull candles for $4.99. They have it in this gold color. And then later on, you will see that they also have it in the silver. Anyways, this has absolutely nothing to do with Big Lots, but I did stop at Bath & Body Works today. I didn't record because I had my son with me, and whenever I have my son with me, there's just no way I'm going to record everything that I want to record. So I didn't even try to do that, but they have their Halloween stuff out, at least in my lo at my location, and I honestly, <laughs> I've been so bummed over the past couple of years. I was not impressed with the line last year and I'm really not that impressed with it this year. I did buy a couple of things, but for the most part, I didn't really care for most of it. Um, I feel like it was a little bit better than last year, uh, but yeah, I, I wanna know your guys' thoughts if you have seen it, if you've seen it in store. I actually was really curious about their little ghosty three wick candle holder. Uh, I thought that it was glass because that's what it looked like online, but really it's just a, I don't know, like a geometric shaped iridescent ghost. Um, but a glass ghosty, that would have been so cool. Um, so yeah, I was a little bit dis disappointed with that. Uh, I just want to know what your guys' thoughts are. 
on it if you have been into Bath and Body Works and have seen the line. What do you think about it? All right, the animatronics are coming up here shortly and I am just gonna let you guys listen to it. I'm gonna shut my trap, I'm not gonna talk. Um, but I also wanted to let you guys know there is one thing that I forgot to record and it's an old man in a rocking chair, I think it was. Um, so I'll have to get that in or I'll have to record that the next time I go in. Anyways, here we go.
I keep wanting to say that I can't talk in this video because I'm just so tired, but we all know that's a lie. I can never talk. <laughs> but what I wanted to ask you guys is I would love to know how you guys are decorating this year. What are your themes? Do you decorate outside or just inside or do you only decorate outside and not inside? Because I do both. I love Halloween outdoor, indoor. I love it all. I have said this a couple of times, but I cannot wait to be that house on the street that everybody just has to drive by because it will happen eventually. <laughs> Anyways, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you guys all next time. Bye!